Now, allow me to share with you another technique utilizing the wet shear. Slicing, one I'm sure you're all familiar with. This is a great technique on hair that is bone straight and you want to add a sense of pliability to it. Great when you want to create more shattered edges and great when you want to diffuse that blunt edge that you get when you cut blonde hair. Slicing, take a vertical or section, just a slice. Remember, always be aware where you want to place the texture. It's not about just picking up a section and texturizing for the sake of texturizing. Remember those principles we talked about. Take the section over your hand. Scissor, open up slightly. Bring it in all the way back to the shaft of the scissor where you have it open. Watch my wrist. And simply, wrist action, slice out, slice out, slice out. Great with the wet shear with our blades because of the convex blades. Really allows you to get a nice sliced edge to it. You can slide your hand out if you desire. Now watch what I mean by that. Let's take another slice. Remember, where your hand is positioned will determine the degree of shortness of the slice. So let's slide out a little bit more mid-shaft. I'm going to start at the top this time and slice my way out to the existing length so that what I create is a little bit more of a slice diagonal edge. So I just slice, slice, slice. So I get it to work from short to long. Great technique. Remember, always assess the fabric that will allow you to choose from the many texturizing techniques available, the technique that's going to complement the fabric.